What is happening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Battlefield 1 Open Beta. The Battlefield Open <coughs> The Battlefield Beta was it yesterday, remember? I don't even know what you think. I'm not getting into any specifics, but the Battlefield 1 beta was officially released yesterday to everybody else. And I'm enjoying it. In all seriousness, I'm enjoying it. The main thing that I find completely hilarious is the name of the objectives. While you're running about in a serious battlefield and you hear that announcer saying you have captured Objective Butter, or Objective Apples, or Objective Freddy, oh it just sends you into stitches. It really does. But I think that's what they call that's what they called objectives back then. I know I'm a bit of a history freak, so I might know this, but I don't actually. No, as you can see by my, as you, if you've seen there quite quickly my kills, kills and deaths in this game of Rush, you might notice it's a bit too positive, I think it was 30 something, no 20, either 30 or 20 kills and zero deaths, that was in that tank and that just shows how OP tanks are because I don't think MD knows how really to take out tanks. Look, I went as the assault class, and because I went the assault class, that's the, I think that's the anti-tank class. And they start off where you get the grenades, uh, either throwing grenades and dynamite that you just throw onto the object, throw into the tank, then just press the wee button, and boom, tank goes into pieces, and your team is up. Well, their team is doing one tank. Which is smashing. <coughs> but I do like the way... I do like the classes. I like the... Class for the... Tank commander and stuff like that. I don't know it's not... The tank driver class. I like that. The only thing I'm no... A fan of is to get the C96. I know tank drivers aren't really meant to be... Look armed is the same as infantry because why the fuck would you buy a gi? And the C96 would be good for the tank because of the carbine, the carbine configuration. But other than that, <laughs> my main complaint as well with the beta is really try to connect it because I think there's probably a lot of people playing this beta and there's just <laughs> it just isn't happening for me, but I try and connect it. I had a few issues the first time trying to connect. This it, every time I try to connect, it kept saying the EA servers are no responding or something. But after a few other tries, I managed to get in. Played a wee bit of Conquest. I like Con. I like what they're trying to do with Conquest. They're trying to change it up a wee bit. And I've heard no. I've heard a lot of people just say that. Oh, the new Conquest system's shite, it's ruined Conquest, but see if you think about it, it's just the exact same as Conquest from Battlefield 4, but instead of the tickets going down, the tickets are going up. I it doesn't even look, emphasize kills that in includes kills, but look, Enemy tank. it's just... But I think what they should do, not really what they should do, but what they could do to appease the money bastards. I wouldn't really like to call them money bastards, but they're a bit money about it. <laughs> but I, to appease the ones that are kind of complaining about the new, like the way Conquest is set up now, maybe the Conquest large and small, then just if you're filtering it, filtering it in like, the server browser, just put Conquest Classic and that just gives you Classic Conquest. So the one thing I'm quite gutted about with this game is, one thing I hope is they let you span semi-automatic rifles along all the classes. Well, I think that would be good because I, I I would like to see a bit more weapon variety. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe, but see some of the melee kills. But 
uh, when you brutally fucking beat somebody to death with a pole or a mace, whatever you've got. But it's just, I don't know why people are complaining, they're just testing things. It's a beta, well, maybe, I don't know if it's going to be permanent, but for what I've seen, people were enjoying Conquest. The new, I think people didn't even care about the way Conquest was. You still get people <laughs> flying about and shooting people in the face. So it's no a major like, problem. I don't know why other people are just saying, oh, Conquest is ruined because of it. No. The only thing that's quite gutting with Conquest is the f the s just the spacing of the flags. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not a major issue, it's just, I'm a lazy bastard. <laughs> And see when you've no tank or no even a tank, it's just when you've no jeep or anything about, it's quite gutting. Although these flag, although the flags up here are quite close together, but like that's something I don't complain about. It's just the ones that are a mission away that you need to get a jeep to. But other than I think that's just a minor complaint, just because I'm a lazy bastard. But the sound and the sound, the sound design as well for Battlefield One is beautiful honestly that is just and he, right here this is why they made special classes that you see this uh, elite classes I'm good I'm glad these things are battle pickups because I was just firing that gun to just see what it was the script was but but I I like these the elite classes just mainly because they're battle pickups because fuck having that as a main class <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Hell no, man. Definitely. Guy running up. Although the only the balance for it for the heavy gunner guy is he can't aim down the sights. <laughs> I still kind of go the objectives. There's objective Freddy there. But I like as well the sandstorm mechanic. I remember playing that rush game that you saw earlier, you'll see that again in the tank, you might see it in the next pop. but I, eh, uh, what was it, I, I like the sandstorm, when the sandstorm kicks in, you see when, you were, I was driving the tank, I was in the tank the entire game, I, I should have left it, but I just wanted to stay in the tank, this is another issue I seem to have been having, look, it just was refusing to let me in this vehicle, Every time I was holding X, see I don't even know if I was, look I did tap it, I hold, held X but while I was through the animation I cut out it, so I think that might have been why. I took this guy out of and he just slashed me across the nut with a fucking horse. Aye, this is why I think tanks are a bit... We have taken out objective <coughs> I like... The one thing I like about the rush in this battlefield is the both teams have got an equal chance of, of fighting with each other, if you get me. But rush on battlefield is the enemy team, rel look, the defending team rarely had like, vehicles in that, and some the attacking team mainly had vehicles. But I quite like the way they've done it in Battlefield, fo uh, battlefield 1. Both teams have got tanks, and the fact that you're driving about in World War One tanks, I still can't get out of that. Look, just I'm just sitting here. I was sitting yesterday, and I was like, to him, look, I was sitting saying to Batman and Owen, look, boys, we're driving history. Just think when you're driving these tanks, you're driving about history. The thing is, well, the tank. I think I'm, if I'm got my history right, the tank is 100 years old this year. Mainly because I think I they started developing the tank run about this time I believe. Or it was before a couple I don't know. But I know the tank is quite a wee old fucker this year. <laughs> He's a bit old. And see when I go through this game to playing Battlefield 4 and I'm sitting in the tanks, I've just sit there like ah, look at what fucking tanks have came to. <laughs> just look at where these big monstrosities have came for. Big clunky things that go about two mile an hour, and the best part about it is you actually feel that you're in one of these tanks. They go quite slow, but no two. They don't. They go slow, but no 
as slow they are as they are in real life. They go a bit faster than that, I say. Which is, the, is a good thing, because they land ships, they things take go about two mile an hour. <laughs> so you'd be there all week trying to get across a map. <laughs> and this is why I mean tanks are a bit, a wee bit OP with the canister shells. If you don't know what a canister shell is, it basically turns your tank into a giant shotgun. That's a canister shell. Turns your tank into a big shotgun and it shreds infantry. And that's why I like this game, I like the how inf certain infantry feel useless against the tank and they try and throw grenades at it. It does do damage, but not a lot. Not to the extent that the, uh, the other thing as well is the how people try and sneak by the tank and just hope that they didn't notice you. We have taken out objective butter. <laughs> and I hero heroically defended objective butter. That's just too good, man. It is. I'm going to actually type this up, the objectives that, the objective names in World War 1, just to see if these are actually true, because see if they were just shouting, one will take objective butter, that would just be fucking, <laughs> that would just be good man, that would have just been too good. This wee guy in the jeep saved my life man, he knew, he knew the main tank driver was back in battlefield and he was like, right, I'm giving this guy a hug because I was a bit of a spoon. I was a wee bit of a spoon and try to drive through that narrow trench. See, the one thing I thought would have been good with the artillery barrage is if the artillery barrage attacked, look, your team's position. Just a cover their retreat if you get me. That would have been a bit more authentic, I, I would say. And then when you attack them new objectives, then just attack the new objectives. But I think it would be good. I think it would. I know it wouldn't really work out if it work out because there's no, it's, you can't really. But I think it would be good if you could use the artillery guns in Battlefield One. I think that would have been quite good. I know I've got a bit of a block nose, I'm sorry if you keep hearing this nipple. Um, but I think that would be good for Battlefield 1 if you could use the artillery. Just because it may, would make it more funny. Although it wouldn't really, because you'd get dickheads that would just stay at the artillery gun the whole time. Or unless you pick the certain objectives. I'm going to finish this wee video here. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Keep up your support, liking, sharing the videos. And hope you all have a good day. And I will see you all in the next video.